evening students today i am going to discuss about a very important topic resting membrane potential so we'll discuss what is resting membrane potential and how we are going to get that resting membrane potential so before that what is resting membrane potential as the name suggests rest so resting so when the cell for example this is the cell membrane and you can see that inside of the cell membrane is negative and outside of cell membrane is positive which you all know and during rest so the very important resting membrane potential so when the cell is at rest there is still a potential difference between outside and inside so the definition of resting membrane potential is the potential difference between outside of the cell membrane and inside of the cell membrane when the cell is at rest this is called a resting membrane potential or rmp so usually how it is calculated is you can see here so there is some electrical difference so what i use is is the galvanometer or voltmeter is used one end of that is connected to the outside that is positive circuit another end is connected to the inside negative circuit and the potential difference between the two will be recorded in this for example if it is tilted towards the negative side the value will be in minus if it is tilted towards the positive side the value will be in positive and first i will tell you the values rmp of neuron is usually said to be minus 70 millivolt rmp of skeletal muscle is minus 90 millivolt and today video i am going to discuss about genesis of resting membrane potential how i am going to get that minus amp. so i will take the example of neuron how i am going to get the resting membrane potential of minus 70 millivolt so let us go into the diagram very very important you can see here so there are three steps deriving resting membrane potential so this is sodium potassium pump so this is the first step so we all know because of sodium potassium pump three sodium is going outside and the two potassium is coming inside so just concentrate three plus is going outside two plus is coming inside so because of this there is going to be some negativity inside and this is around minus 5 millivolt so because of sodium potassium pump there is a negativity created inside the cell which is minus 5 millivolt now so hypothetically reason we start with zero millivolt and i am going to derive to minus 70 millivolt from 0 to minus 70 millivolt that is genesis we are going to see so hypothetically imagine that rmp is not that it is zero i am going to find how we are getting that minus 70 millivolt for example in neuron so because of the sodium potassium pump there is a minus the negativity created inside the cell membrane so this is minus 5 millivolt coming to the second cause is potassium leaky channels so as the name suggests that permeable to potassium and we all know potassium is more inside the cell so there is more potassium inside and less potassium outside you can see here so potassium is coming outside so plus is going outside just concentrate so more potassium is coming from the cell to outside the cell because potassium is present more intracellularly and it is less outside so because of this is concentration rate from more potassium to along the concentration rate where the potassium is more from that it is going to less area to compensate it so because of the movement of potassium outside there is again more negativity created and in fact because of sodium potassium ATP is only minus 5 millivolt is created but here it is almost approximately minus 90 some says minus 94 also so minus 90 millivolt is created because of the transport of potassium outside along the concentration gradient now next question arises why this has stopped at minus 90 it can keep on going you know the potassium can keep on going minus 100 minus 110 why we are keeping it at minus 90 very very important i will explain the answer just imagine the potassium going outside from inside to outside is because of concentration gradient inside is negative just concentrate inside is negative so to compensate that what we expect potassium should come inside this is electrical so this potassium going outside is concentration so see here two concentration the potassium going outside is because of concentration gradient and because of that i got minus 90 millivolt but there is an opposite gradient because here it is more minus so to compensate that minus i want plus to come in so potassium is expected to come in but 
because of concentration gradient no concentration so there is a fight so concentration gradient and electrical gradient what electrical gradient want it wants potassium to come inside because there is more minus so i want plus to come inside what concentration gradient does from more potassium to less potassium so at one stage what happens this and this will become equal so concentration gradient note it down is equal to electrical gradient this point no movement so equilibrium is reached and this point at which there is no further movement of ions here, here in this case it is potassium where i get the value of minus 90 so here, potential potassium is approximately minus 90 first point is sodium potassium pump because of that i got minus 5 millivolt second is potassium leaky channels and one more thing also we have to understand apart from potassium inside the cells you have more phosphates proteins all opposite poles attract each other so potassium is attracted to protein potassium is attracted to phosphate but what happens the potassium because of concentration gradient it is coming outside but phosphate also wants to come along with potassium but phosphates proteins proteins are large in size so they cannot easily come out so phosphates and proteins are left behind but potassium is coming because of the concentration gradient so what happens there is more phosphate remaining inside and more protein and they both are negative so all these also contributes so not only potassium going out presence of phosphate presence of protein can't gives this minus 90 millivolt which is step number two now coming to step number three sodium channels again here also concentration gradient so sodium is present more extra sodium outside so we expect sodium to come inside yeah now there is positivity inside because of entry of sodium inside but remember very very important it is not going to create this much minus 90 is because of that potassium but potassium is so 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 much more permeable compared to sodium or there more leaky channels i'll write it here potassium is very 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 greater than sodium so because of this some positivity is created but not that much so when i add this minus 90 minus or minus 95 maybe because of this some plus 20 i will calculate minus 5 this is because of sodium potassium pump potassium channel minus 90 then sodium channel plus 20 so which is minus 70 approximately yeah this is approximately minus 70 to minus 75 millivolt which is what we wanted so we started from 0 millivolt and we got resting membrane potential of neuron is equal to minus 70 millivolt because of three things sodium potassium pump minus 5 millivolt potassium channels minus 85 to minus 90 sodium channels plus 15 to plus 20 sometimes plus 25 so when put together all you get minus 70 millivolt this is for neuron so like the skeletal muscle is also there and remember we are training only neuron skeletal muscle cardiac muscle like that but very very important point each and every cell has a resting neuron potential not it down i explained a little bit about equilibrium potential equilibrium potential is the potential at which there is no movement of ions on a for example potassium leakage channels potassium is going outside sodium leakage channels sodium is coming inside if i tell the equilibrium potential of poten potassium so equilibrium potential of potassium means at that potential potassium will not go out that is what these two arrows one is concentration gradient where the potassium is going out another is electrical gradient where the potassium is coming in at around minus 85 to minus 90 they balance so it is so much imagine minus 90 so potassium has become less so this potassium from outside has to come in but the negativity is not only so concentration negativity or concentration gradient and electrical gradient are opposing each other and it reaches a balance it comes to an agreement okay okay i will not go out because you are also telling this potassium will tell okay okay as i am going out i will reach the maximum of minus 90 if i still go out it will become minus 90 okay i will okay i am not going out so that is the reaching of equilibrium potential now i will calculate equilibrium potential of potassium by nurse equation note it down nurse equation or nurse potential Nest equation is the one which is used to find the equilibrium potential which is also called nest potential for example equilibrium potential of K, potassium is equal to i will write the formula is equal to rt by z f into logarithm of 10 
concentration inside the cell membrane by concentration outside the cell membrane. And next equation, you can calculate the equilibrium potential. Remember, equilibrium potential is for single atom. So equilibrium potential for potassium that is separate. Equilibrium potential for sodium that is separate for sodium. Equilibrium potential of chloride that is separate. In fact, we have explained only sodium, potassium and pump. Even chloride is also not, but that value is very very less. So I have not explained in the genesis. The, in, when I explained about how minus 70 millivolt comes, I have not included chloride, calcium, all those things. Because they play a very very minor role. So we ignore that. So R is gas constant. T is absolute temperature. F is Faraday constant. Z is valency. We need not know each and every value. So which is coming to 61. So I put plus or minus 61 into log of concentration inside. Now we are going to take equilibrium potential of potassium. So potassium concentration inside is 140. Concentration outside is 5, around 5. So which we calculate here we put as minus. So for positive ion, inside by outside means it will become minus. So minus 61. So this has come approximately minus 90. So this is equilibrium potential for potassium. Same way, I can calculate equilibrium potential for sodium. The same formula, minus 61 into concentration outside inside by concentration outside. For sodium, concentration inside is 110. Concentration outside is more, 162 plus 70. So equilibrium potential of sodium is, according to the calculation, by using next equation, it is plus 60 to plus 70. Equilibrium potential of potassium is minus 90. Yeah, now comes the very very important question. So now you can ask, sir, then RMP is equal to sodium, potassium, everything. If I put this minus 90 plus 60 approximately, or minus 90, this is plus 70. So minus 90 plus 70, which is equal to minus 20. So according to the calculation, I expect resting membrane potential to be minus 20 but what we got resting membrane potential of neuron is minus 70 and I hope you now know the answer I already told you potassium is more 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 permeable so it's not just you can calculate sodium alone potassium alone and add it I have to use the formula of permeability of the cell membrane or permeability of the ion to the cell membrane here comes another equation very very important I will use the equation Goldman again Cats. The name is very tricky. So, next equation is for individual ion. Goldman Hodgkin's equation is for all the ions included, which will help in determining the RMP, the single potential. So, nothing to worry. I will first write here the next equation so that you will understand. So, next equation for potassium. Now we calculated minus 61 into potassium inside by potassium outside. Same thing for sodium. Minus 61 into Sodium inside by sodium outside. Same thing for chloride, whatever it is. Now coming to gold mass, the same minus 61 into, but I will add permeability potassium inside and outside. And the same thing potassium inside by a potassium outside plus this is for this, then plus for sodium permeability sodium inside by permeability sodium outside. In Sodium concentration plus sodium also. So now what happens here? Yeah. Goldman is nothing but adding permeability difference also. So here the permeability is very 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 high. And here the permeability is compared to this not high or even it can be less compared to this. So what happens? This minus 9 half for example you easily imagine like this. 90 percentage of permeability is by potassium and only 10 percentage of permeability is by sodium so what will happen so i have to take i already found out for potassium it is minus 90 millivolt for sodium it is plus 60 millivolt so i will take 90 percentage of this minus 90 and only 10 percentage of this plus 60 then it comes to around minus 70 millivolt for neuron like that, we can calculate the resting membrane potential. So, in today's class, I discussed about main three things which is involved in resting membrane potential. I again repeat sodium potassium pump. And another very, very, very important thing 
you can think only minus 5 but if the sodium potassium pump is in problem your entire resting membrane potential mechanism will be affected I will tell you the reason imagine if this sodium potassium pump is not functioning properly the potassium coming in will be less so the potassium already is more but this is adding on to that or otherwise already there is more potassium inside 140 to 145 more potassium is inside but when still two potassium is coming in because of the sodium potassium pump these two potassium is trying to pull the potassium outside so already more still when it comes more this becomes overcrowded so that overcrowding occurs because of sodium potassium pump because of that overcrowding the potassium starts moving outside is the second step so first step is very very important for the second step to occur so even though it produces only minus 10 millivolt but because of some potassium coming inside overcrowding of potassium or potassium concentration is more so the concentration gradient is still more so that more potassium comes outside how long the more potassium will come outside until the concentration gradient matches the electrical gradient which is around minus 85 to minus 90 millivolt so the values varies from book to book but the mechanism is same so you understand the concept and sodium channels also same thing from outside it is coming to inside because of the concentration gradient but they are very very less permeable compared to potassium so we can keep minus 20 something and I told how to find the overall RMP by using nurse is for individual nest potential is also called as equilibrium potential and the formula I told one more thing I want to tell you in Goldman equation when I want to calculate for chloride again permeability of chloride by permeability of chloride but here it will be chloride outside the numerator inside the denominator because chloride is negatively charged so in today's video we will discuss about how resting membrane potential is formed and what is nest equation which calculates nest potential nest potential is also called as equilibrium potential so goldman orton catch equation which includes all the ions i will be adding together but the extra factor very very important is i can't just add like max because permeability permeability of potassium is so 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 much than sodium like example 90 percentage of permeability is by potassium means whatever value i get in nest equation potassium 90 percent of that i will take whatever value i get for sodium in nest equation only 10 percentage of that I will get and when I combine that I will get a value of minus 70 in case of neuron minus 90 in case of skeletal muscle as I told values will vary a little bit but the concept is same in next video we will discuss about action potential code thank you